What's going on YouTube? Smarba here. Thinking about starting a new series called Tournament Tested where we uh, start playing in these new tournaments that are coming out, building the team to meet the requirements. Uh, as you guys know, the Bundesliga slash Syria tournament just was released today, so we built the Bundesliga team to go ahead and play in it. Uh, I was really a big fan of the defense. Um, Kiriakos Papadopoulos is, is an absolute beast. That 80 rated uh, inform, Greek inform was, was awesome for us. And we come up against a guy who was using a 4-3-2-1 Bundesliga team that was absolutely beast. You guys will see it here. Bunch of informs, bunch of team of the years, and uh, man of the match Hummels. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me what what's my favorite formation. And I know this is a bit off topic, but in the stream everyone's asking me what's your favorite formation. Why do you use the 4-1-2-1-2? And it's kind of, that question is really hard to answer. Um, I don't really have a favorite formation, so to speak. I have a go-to formation, and that's the 4-1-2-1-2. And the reason why it's my go-to formation is, is because of the balance. It seems like I'm going up against a lot of people who are on Alter D or have 5 at the back with Alter D, as I've been complaining about the past couple of videos. And I feel like the 4-1-2-1-2 gives that... Um, it gives me the ability to go on ultra attacking or or just attacking without worrying about conceding on the counter. Right there, the 4-3-2-1, perfect example of why it's so effective on the counter. Ribery just blazed past our defense, and he goes up 1-0 right away. Uh, but that's all right. We get one back. We get the ball. Götze delivers it to Schürrle, to Raul. Raul with a nice little pass, and Schürrle rockets it to the back of the net. So we tie the game at 1-1, but Schürrle was not done there. He was actually causing chaos and havoc to his defense. They could not keep up with him. His pace was too much. Here he gets another break. Tries the finesse, but it's all right. Even though it saves Raul's right there to finish things up. Now, let me give you my thoughts on Raul. Raul... You know, he does have nice dribbling stats. He does have a nice shot. His pace is only 65, which is not a big deal. But I would much rather prefer Raul as a cam instead of a striker. Um, I, I wasn't a big fan of, of him as a striker position. He was able to set Sherla up nicely. But other than that, I mean, it, it was just dreadful to use him. I, di I didn't like using him as a striker. So we actually went ahead and swapped him out after this game, which you guys will see. But Sherla powers through his defense again and gets us up 3-1 before the half. Um, after the half, 48th minute right away, he crosses it to Farfan, gets one back. It's 3-2 now. However, our defense with Kiriakos Papadopoulos, they hold up, and the game is going to end at 3-2. So we win the start of the tournament, and we're moving on to the quarterfinals. You guys will see here that I'm going to I'm going to go look for another striker to replace Raul specifically one with four star skills. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Austrian striker Arnautovic, I believe his name is and that's how it's pronounced. He's only a 75 rated striker, but he played awesome for us. I've used him before on a Bundesliga team and I was very happy with using him. Uh, there wasn't one. There wasn't one in a 4-1-2-1-2, I believe. I'm not sure if there was or not, but I don't think there was. So I got one that just had a two um, striker formation, so like a 4-4-2, a 4-3-1-2, any one of those, just for him to get eight chem, which which is fine. I'm happy with eight chem. You know, usually I'm really anal about <laughs> having everyone on nine chem, but I figured let's just save the coin. Put him on 8 chem and it'll be all gravy. We went ahead and got a morale card as well to make sure he's at 99 fitness, 99 morale. We had a little bit of trouble finding an opponent for a little bit here, but eventually we got someone. Swag City is ready to play us, and he had a nice little City A squad with Chiellini, Thiago Silva, you know, the, whatever, pretty much the City A teams you guys always see, but with Di Natale and Mikli up front instead of Ibrahimovic and Batu. In any case, we see Sidney Sam here do some work, break down his defense, and puts it in nicely with his left foot. We get an early 1-0 lead, and I was pumped at this point. I figured in a 4-1-2-1-2 City A side with Chiellini and Thiago Silva, we were going to have so much trouble breaking down his defense. But Sidney Sam does some great work and puts us up. 1 2 nothing. Here again, we get another chance. Buffon with a nice save. We get the corner. We're going to try to header it in, get a little bit unlucky, but then 
we get lucky. EA doesn't troll. They give us the penalty. There's only one person to take it at, and that's Franck Ribéry. And he's going to put it right in the back of the net, straight up top and in the middle. Best place to go. And we're up 2 nothing early on, 26th minute. Oh, baby. That's awesome. Here we go again. Arnautovic, who we just brought on for this game, does some great work. Step overs, another roulette, another step over, and boom! Right in the back of the net. That was absolutely nasty. Some great work for a 75-rated striker. Give him a shot, guys. He's so cheap. I got him for 900 coins. He puts it in with his weak foot. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, of course, he could not handle it anymore. He rage quits. So we're on to the finals, guys, which I'll show you tomorrow. Um, a comment, a like, a subscribe is always awesome to have. So I will see you guys tomorrow. This has been Smarba. Peace.